is home value always where associations draw the line? Because you could argue why regulate bushes then? Does it really matter what type of bushes people have or what shade of color door? Is it always a home value that determines whether or not a board could make a rule? Yeah, the only rules that are enforceable are reasonable. So reasonable comes from some justification in some way. So I don't know that the rules, the whole sort of governance scheme is necessarily about like the individual day-to-day -day differences between houses, bush height, color, uh, door color, how nice a car is. I think it's a more fundamental kind of thing, which is these communities are set up to try to make sure that there's some sort of guardrails on the type of houses people can have and the type of way people can live so that people in the neighborhood are not stuck in a place where one guy in the neighborhood just doesn't keep his house nice, doesn't keep his property nice, and he ruins it for everybody else. So I think that the whole dynamic here is more about guardrails and not necessarily about the individual size and color of certain things. It's sort of like a, and that's why boards, I think, have to pick and choose their battles. You know, is do you need to have a rule that the uh, a bush can't be more than eight feet? Why can't it be six feet? Why can't it be 10 feet? There, there probably is no reason. Isn't the rule, shouldn't the rule be more like you have to have something in front of your house that doesn't look disheveled, that looks uh, maintained, that looks nice? Isn't that really what we're, what we're looking for? And not necessarily the, the height and size of a particular thing that can be differentiated pretty easily.